Alright, what is up everyone? This is gonna be a very short video on whether if R5 Miss Splitter is worth it or not. Right now it is at rank 1 and we're gonna go ahead and do some testing here and then get that weapon up to R5 and see if it's worth it or not. You guys know how to do math, right? What you can do is kind of use your calculator to see how much damage you're going to be doing with one extra refinement, okay? So here we go. Okay, we use Q. Okay, to be honest, these guys are so weak we're gonna have to find somewhere else to go. We can probably test the damage out on Azdaha. Okay, so the reason why I have this team, I took out Sinkchu because I won't be able to freeze Azdaha. So I'm here with Cryo Resonance, where I would get extra critical rate when I have Cryo Mark on the opponents. Okay. So that's the kind of a damage we're looking at with the full stacks. We're going to upgrade from R1 to R5. Actually, let me do this one more time. Actually, no. Let's not do another one. Actually, let's do another one. Actually, let's not do another one. What the f***? <laughs> we, we can follow the same procedure and then we can compare the damage, okay? Where am I? What am I doing here? So 12%, 8, 16, 28% to double, okay? Check this out. You know what? Let's do this five times. Last time we did 30k Q damage and 40k max damage for her charge attack. Use Q raw. Sprint. E. Charge attack. Alright. With R1 we saw 30k for her Q and 31k for her R2. And for R1, her charge attack was 40k, but this time we saw about 41 to 42k, okay? So that is a bit of an upgrade, but not so much, I would say. So let's go ahead and make this R2 weapon to R3. Okay, from 15%, 10, 20, 35 to 18%, 12, 24, 42. That is a huge increase. All right, we're going to go ahead and test this R3 out. Goddamn, let's go. Thirty-two Q. Charge attack. Forty-two K. That was a clean forty-two K. Okay, now we're gonna upgrade this to R four. So now we have twenty-one percent base elemental damage bonus. Fourteen twenty-eight forty-nine percent. Okay, ultimate R five is twenty-four percent base. Sixteen thirty-two fifty-six percent. That is really really huge. Thirty three K and then a forty two K. It was near forty three. Now moving on to R five. Let's go, R five. And um Are we gonna even see like a ten percent damage difference? <laughs> if it turns out the amount of damage we get for R five your weapon is barely ten percent. <laughs> I don't know what I would say, but hey, let's go. This might be the last weapon that I will R5 ever again in Genshin Impact. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go, Q. All right. Okay, so in terms of charge attack, it was barely 10%. And for her Q, the reason why I had to use her Q right away instead of sprinting once is because I messed up, okay? First time I did it, I didn't sprint. So I could never undone my R2 sword, so I had to keep on doing that. So lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprint and then Q, okay? We're gonna take a look at... The Q damage after we get this little puny damage bonus, okay? I'm not expecting a lot. We're gonna take a look at her final Q damage after she sprints. So only E. Chungus E. Here we go. 36k. 
Okay. Alright, so because we got a lot of Kyo Dane bonus here and there, why don't we try out the attack percentage goblet and see how it goes. Here we go. That's 34. And 46. Almost 47k charge attack. So actually, when you have R5 Mist Splitter, you don't have to be sad because you can probably change your goblet to attack percentage and do a little bit more damage, okay? A little bit more damage. I'm not R5ing weapons ever again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so for a lot of people who actually doesn't really care about money, you probably were making your weapons to R5 right away. But now that I look at it here, it is absolutely not worth R5 a weapon, especially for this one. It may look good, but it's a little weird. That's too much of an elemental damage bonus for Ayaka. Her sprint gives her a little mini cryo damage bonus for 18%. Okay, did I sprint? So if you take a look at it, her cryo damage bonus is already really high. So from 101%, her weapon gives 56% elemental damage bonus, and on top of that, she gets... 18% here. So all you see right here, like R1 value is one half of this. So you used to have 12% elemental damage bonus and you used to have 28% elemental damage bonus if you have the max stacks. So that value is not really worth $1,000. It costs about $1,000 to R5 your weapon. And for this one, it is not very effective. So... Please, for those of you guys who have a lot of money, don't spend money on this weapon. Just go ahead and buy yourself a nice PS5 or, I don't know, some maybe a new console for you to enjoy. What the hell? Hey, you know, I actually kind of like how it's so inefficient. That means I can probably, from now on, pull a weapon and just do a review and that's gonna be it. Not a lot of people kind of like this R1 to R5 weapon comparison videos anyways because it's not really relevant. You can't really, uh, you know, relate to that either. So, yeah, there you go. Now that we have, like, a new weapon pulling system, it's good that we can pull a weapon guaranteed, but we have to go through maximum three pities. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, and <laughs> I hope you save your money from now on. Don't spend too much money on the weapon banner. If anything, you can go for the heroes. And, yeah, there you go. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.